This was uh, when I was at Maryland. Dick Adele did this every the day before game, so guys didn't run a whole lot. We made them a little smaller. Timeline and restraint line, all four mixes. Coaches and goal or goalies in here with balls. All right. We're gonna go clockwise. The line you throw to is the line you go to. All right. So when they're going in this direction, the first time you do it, you're gonna catch left, throw left. So if I'm catching the ball from Brian, he's running straight at me, I'm running this way, I'm gonna catch it left-handed, I'm gonna throw it left-handed. All right? So the first time you go, you just go around, you got two balls, you can have two balls going here too. So I'm, I'm running across, catching across my, across my body, catch the ball, throw the ball, all left-handed, go to the line you throw to. The ch challenge in here is to not, if you have two goalies in here, for them not to socialize and lose track of balls. One goalie watches one ball, one goalie watches the other ball. And if there's a bad pass, he throws the ball to the next guy in line. So on this pass here, if this blue line here doesn't, doesn't catch the ball, he goes and chases it, the goalie throws to the next guy in line here. So the drill keeps going. All right? Then what you do is you say, okay, when I, and they, they keep, they're playing, they're going, they're going, they're catching left, throwing left. When I blow the whistle, and they're still running, when I blow the whistle, reverse direction, when I catch right, throw right. And you repeat it again, blow the whistle, they reverse direction, now they're catching right, throwing right. So now I'm running this way, I'm catching the ball from there, and I'm throwing it that way. Okay? Then you say, okay, I'm going to blow the, and they, they're, they're, they're still running. Next time I blow the whistle, reverse direction, and we're going to catch right, throw left. So now we're going counterclockwise now. So I'm catching the ball from Brian again. I'm going to catch over my shoulder, switch hands, and throw the ball. And then you go, when I blow the whistle, we're going to switch, switch directions. We're going to catch left and throw right. So you've gotten right, right, left, left, catch left, throw right, catch right, throw left. Maybe about 30, 40 seconds of each one. And you keep on switching it back and forth and keep on switching back and forth, all right? Does that make sense? Here's the big one. Button. Defensive four corners, an easy, very easy drill. There's no movement here. Guys are taking it pretty easy. You, th this may be too big for some of you, spacing-wise, but one of the things that we found is that when we practiced clearing, our defensemen didn't, couldn't do the passes that are required of them in clearing, and we never practiced them. You know, we never practiced throwing the ball. We did line drills. We threw the ball about 10 yards. And then we go to clearing, and it's freaking colder and crap out. All 48 guys are watching your practice, and we can't throw the ball. Make the, the defenseman can't make the pass required to make. We, you know, we, we, we failed them because we don't practice that stuff. So this was a way we, we put guys in these four spots. Two balls go at the same time. He throws cross field. He throws diagonal. He throws cross field. He throws diagonal. So what we do is he has a ball, he has a ball, blow the whistle, they both throw cross, they both throw cross field, and they're throwing diagonal. <clears throat> and what it does, it, it, it's just, that, that's a hard throw to make. You may have to shorten your distances between these guys a little bit and maybe bring them in to the, to the, time, to the restraining lines. One of the things I notice in our clearing in youth, and I, when, I, when I do skill sessions with guys, is the defensemen break out about like this. They think that's a breakout. They got to break out to the restraining line. They shouldn't, they should be looking back, but running to the restraining line, make the attack defend a big field. And they should be able to make from restraining line to restraining line pass. All right? Should they make it from goal line? To midline, not all of them, no. That's something you got to work on, maybe bring them down a little bit. But it's a good, easy drill to do if it's a day before practice. We used to do this before, before game day. So our defensemen got work in, they got stick work in, but they weren't running all over the place. Goalies in that too? No. Usually goalies, if the goalies were warmed up and ready, then we'd just throw them in to one of those lines. Yeah. But the goalies don't make those passes.